Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to the Lickin' Room, where we're gonna learn 7475, a beautiful acoustic guitar classic, now in finger style. So you can download the tab and follow along, download the tab for free. All the tabs are for free on Lickin' Riff, always have been and always will be. So the whole tab book in the description. Now, 7475 starts with just the A string. Then, two pull off to zero on the fourth. Then, three pull off to zero on the fifth, and then three again. Now, C, you can strum it, you can pick it, you can do whatever you like. It's an arrangement. Just have fun with it, play it however you feel like playing it at the moment. Okay, so. Hey, you can play an arpeggio, you can play block chords, you can strum it, okay, up, down, up, down. Now that last chord is G, okay, so it's C, 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 G. So C, 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 G, any way you want to interpret it. And then you have A minor again. Two A's, the chord, zero, one, one on the second string, or 0111, again, it's an interpretation. You don't have to stick to the original, you can do whatever you feel like. Twice. F. Now, I'm using the finger style F, which is the beginner F chord with one on the bass using my thumb. Now, why is that? It's so I can solo with it, okay? Because if you have all your fingers with the bar, then you have to start struggling with it. And this leaves a finger free. You can take fingers off, okay, which we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna start with one, three, one on the second string, so you have your little finger. And then, the open third string, but we change into C, okay? So it's F. That last one is a C chord, okay? So it's... Now you can play the one and then the C bass, a syncopation. Okay? And then I play the chord. And then you have... It's F again, but then you have one one on the first string. So you start, the melody is two on the third string, it's inside the chord. And then you have the open E string, three on the B string, and then you have C with the open E string, G with three one on the second, then F again. You can bar or this. Then you have again, one, three, one on the second string into C. It's the same move. And then, um, same move, okay? Exactly the same. You have the third string at the end. It's the same line. And then you have A minor from the intro. And then. It's F and C again. You start with zero, three on one and two. And then you have 3, 1, okay, with F. So you can put on the thumb on the bass, but you don't always have to do it. Okay, I find it easier to play this move like this instead of just putting on my entire hand, okay? Um, I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't have a low F bass once. Um, so it's 3 1 1, and then the chord. 2 on the third, 1 on the second string, and you're back to C. Okay, so it's. You play the C bass at the end there. And then hammer on to 2 on the third, and then you have A minor with 1 1 on the second. C with three on the second open first, 
and then you have F. One on the second string. So the whole line. Okay, it's A minor, C, and F. You don't have to play the whole chord, okay? Just the bass. Okay? Sometimes that's enough. You don't have to play the whole chord all the time. And then, 0, 3 again, 1 and 2, and then you have 3, 1, 1, but with A minor. And then, 2 on the 3rd, uh, 1 on the 2nd again, okay? It's just like the first line of this tab line, but A minor replaces F. So the first time it was F to C, now it's A minor to C. Got it? It's the same line, just different bass notes or different chords if you're playing the whole chord. And then 0, 0, hammer on to 2 on the 3rd. And then G with 2, 0 on the D string. Okay? So, chorus starts with open E string, 3, 1 on the 2nd, and then A minor. Three times, 2-2-2 two, two, two on the 3rd. You can play the 4th as a harmony. And then, 1-1 um, one, one on the 2nd string into C. And then, 3 pull off to 1 on the 2nd string. And then G with the D string. Three times, open 2nd string, and then F. Strings two and three are the melody. Now, notice that I said three G strings. But in the tab, there's an extra zero, okay, an extra G string. That's because when I arranged it, I played it like this. Instead of. Okay, it's all a matter of what you feel like playing in the moment. Okay, it's an arrangement. We're not singing the lyrics. You can just play one G string. Okay? Or two. Okay? Really doesn't matter. It's up to your interpretation. Just have fun with it. Just have fun with the arrangement. Have fun with the song. Right? So, um, we're in F. And then you have... Okay? That same um, opening sequence of notes, open E string, 3-1 on the B string, 2 on the G string. This time with A minor. And then with C. So it's the open third string at the end. It's the open third string, it's a C chord. So the first time it's A minor, so it's 2 on the third, then it's C, so. G. Then again, the ending is different. Instead of 1-1 one, one on the second string, okay, on C, the first time, you play 1 on the second string and then the open E string. Then, the E string twice, and then the G bass. 3-3-1, three, three, and then another one with F. Okay, and then you play two on the third string. So it's G, F. And then you have A minor, C, and then G. Solo. You're on G, you move this finger down to C, and you play it with the open first and second strings, and then you have three and two on the second and third strings, and then one and zero. It's all fourths, okay? So it's... Okay, with your third finger on C, on the C bass. And then 
five three zero on the first string with G. Okay, so zero three and with three you play the A bass. Zero one on the second string, three on the first, zero on the second. So the whole line. Okay, one zero twice on the second string, pull off, and then the third string with C, and then hammer on to two on the third, second, and then G with one on the second string, and then open second string, hammer on to two on the third, and then zero, and then another hammer on with A. And then you play the first C and G lines again. E string, and then you bar, you bar five, okay? It's A minor, five, 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 and A. And then eight, five on the second. And then you have five again on the first, eight, five on the second. C, one on the second string this time. Hammer on to one on the second string. And then you have G, and then C with the open E string. So it's, okay. Um, actually, it's both syncopated. Um, you hammer on to one and then G, you play the open E string, and then C. Okay, and then, It's G, one zero on the second, and then F with two on the third string, back to the verse. And that's your arrangement of 7475. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as I said, the tabs are for free. Download the tabs for this song in the description. The link is below, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you inside the Fingerstyle Workshop. Seven days to extraordinary fingerstyle. We're going to have so much fun. Come on in. It's free. So um, see you there, and see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun.